Almost immediately, the wild speculation just went nuclear, um, from drug cartels to cult activity to sexting in an unwanted pregnancy. Were they strangled? Were they shot? I mean, people just couldn't fathom how two young girls out for a winter walk could have died in this horrible way. Speculation really ran rampant, but no one really knew. That's right. Crime Nation takes viewers behind the headlines of the most shocking crimes. The new docuseries premieres tonight on CW Providence. And Ashley Banfield, host of Banfield on News Nation, is a contributor and joins us for a preview. Ashley, good morning. First of all, I am so glad you're here because I have been listening to podcasts about this. I've been reading everything about this case, following this along. So I'm so happy that you're doing doing a special on this. So so first, tell us about Crime Nation and then we can get into the business because I'm fascinated by it all. <laughs> Sure, you bet. Well, I'm as fascinated as you are. And, you know, clearly, I think this is why I ended up, like, for the last 36 years, really gravitating towards true crime and doing deep dives into these cases. That's what um, Crime Nation is. It's a two-hour deep dive every Tuesday night at 8, 7 Central. And tonight, it is the uh, Delphi uh, case, which, as you know, is one of the most... Um, perplexing, mysterious cases. It's been seven years since that crime was committed, and we still do not have a person locked up for life for that crime. Um, Richard Allen is gonna face trial this fall. However, we've been able to uncover some pretty fascinating information about this case. Uh, some exclusive interviews never before heard, and some I don't know, I, I, perhaps it's fair to say direction in this case that was not what we expected. Um, I think we may come out of this two hour documentary tonight asking the questions, do we have the right guy? So what a lot of people may not realize is it happened in Delphi, Indiana, two girls walking along the train tracks. One of them, correct me if I'm wrong, had a cell phone with them and they may have hit record on it. So this video of, of a guy walking along the train track and then one and then him saying, was it guys down the down the hill? But they still have no guys idea. Guys down the hill. Yeah, yeah that's no what, what that's what yeah. you know, for the most part it is believed he said guys down the hill. It's pretty clear he said down the hill. And Libby and Abby, um, I mean Imagine what they were going through at this point, but had the wherewithal to capture that moment. Um, and there was there was actually like a grainy image uh, captured as well of that perpetrator. But it's just so difficult to to place, you know, who it is. There's a there's a a shape of a person. There's a very sort of difficult um, outline, but it's something as opposed to nothing. And so whether it's actually Richard Allen or not, uh, that's going to be a big question because some of the evidence in the case is slightly questionable, very circumstantial. Right. And the ballistics evidence that they recovered at the scene, there are a lot of ways that you could look at that evidence and say that bullet could be anyone's gun. So there, there's some questions I think that are going to be raised um, in this particular episode and all the episodes as well every other Tuesday night that we're airing. We've got new interviews, new information, new evidence, new a new direction and a new perspective on a lot of these cases. Yeah, so what are some cases that you, that you folks are following because I love these. I don't, I don't know what it says about me. I love like these true crime cases. I love the serial killer cases. I may have a problem. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but I love all of this stuff. <laughs> you don't. You absolutely do not have a problem. Basically, what you're telling me, Will, is that you're like everybody else because yeah. the, cru the true crime genre has really exploded. And it is, um, it's something that most people now have said, look, I go to the movies and I watch these big two-hour, you know, dramas play out on the air, but this is real life and it's really happening. And because of the internet, a lot of people have been able to do deep dives of their own and become actual sleuths. So it's become a, a thing for a lot of people. And some of the other cases that we're doing, uh, do you remember Casey White and Vicki White? Vicki yes. White was the jail guard yes. uh, in Alabama who busted out the, the giant six foot seven um, uh, Casey White, they shared the same last name, but they weren't uh, married. Um, she busted them out and they went on a, a you know almost a two week run across the country uh, being chased until this like fiery end of that whole ordeal. We're digging into that as well. 
And Brian Enton, who's on News Nation with me, that remember it's News Nation, the, the cable channel. Uh, at night, I do the 10 o'clock show, and then it's Crime Nation, the two hour deep dive documentary show on Tuesday nights on the CW. Anyway, Brian Enton got some pretty amazing information uh, from Casey White himself at wow. the time that he was arrested. So we're looking into all of these cases and putting them together in a big, long package that will be sort of very, very um, easy to follow, easy to understand. Lots of pieces that you might have missed will fall into place in a lot of these uh, these series. So well, I Lori Vallow is one of our cases as well. Drew Peterson, one of our cases. I love the Casey White, Vicky White, of course, Delphi as well. So you'll have to watch because um, you, I guarantee you, as much of a fan as you are, I think we're going to have some information you haven't seen before. All right, sounds good to me. I'm going to be glued to the TV. Thanks, Ashley, for joining us. And you can watch Crime Nation tonight at 8 p.m. over on CW Providence.